Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It has been some time since we've had a video on the workbench, but I finally got everything clean, got room for some new projects, and it just so happens that I got a new toy in the mail. Ooh, if I can figure out how to open the box. All right, so this is the Mutant Tenkara from Dragon Tail Tenkara. So this was actually, it's a pretty sweet little kit. This was actually a part of their Indiegogo campaign, which is kind of like Kickstarter. Look at that. It comes with a hard case. Look at that, even that little package is nice. Ooh, these are metal. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder if it's waterproof. Ah, it's got a little rubber seal. I don't know if you can see that, it's got a little rubber seal on it. Could be. Man, that's a really sweet, I think the whole thing's metal. Ah, it's not just a piece of PVC pipe. Ho ho. Ah, everything keeps being in a different direction. Look at that, that's a nice thick sock. Oh look, and it can even house a reel if that's what I wanted. Oh no, that's where it comes out. I've never seen a sock like this. That's really cool, it fits it. Oh, because this is tin car. I bet you it keeps it keeps it in position, keeps it from sliding around. Huh, that's really neat. All right, before we do that, let's look at the accessory kit. So I actually went ahead too, and um, I paid a little extra for this accessory kit. So it came with some some dry flies in here. Let's see what these are. That's pretty cool. And, oops, and they're already barbless. I like that. These are really cool. They should fish really well, uh, especially here where I'm at on the Kern River. So, really cool. I'm happy with those. And like I said, they're crimped, so they will go right into the kit. What is this, Nirvana? On the fly. This looks like a line holder of some sort. I've never, by the way, I've never fished with the Tenkara rod. Set up basics video, so I'm gonna have to call, uh, watch that video. All right, got a warranty, a whole bunch of different stuff. That's really cool. Got some 4X tippet. Nice, uh, 32 yards, so that should be good for quite a bit. Oh, look at that, another three meters. Um, what is this, three and a half? Really cool, I'm gonna have to look and see how, I imagine it just spins around and then it just hooks right here and then you just have a couple of these. But like I said, I'm coming straight off of a classic fly rod. Um, I fished a lot of fly rods, but this is my first 10 cara. I saw it online, I actually watched it on a YouTube video, and uh, I thought it was pretty sweet, so I figured I'd pick one up. Everything keeps being in different directions. That bothers me. So this is the Mutant ZX380. They had, I know at one point they had some shipping delays because of this, but it looks like they got it all figured out. So this is a, uh, what do they call them, like a, like a zoom rod, like you can, I can fish multiple different levels. So um, the longest is 380 centimeters and then it drops down to like, I, I wanna say it's like 12 and a half feet, 11 and a half feet, and then like 10 and a half feet or, or somewhere right in there. I'll have to look up the increments. Whenever I take it out and do a video fishing with it, I'll have all that um, in there in the description and I'll also throw it in the description on this one. But the way that this works is you can actually see that this butt piece actually sucks onto 
the different um, pieces here. So that keeps everything in place. So there's a couple O-rings right there, that's what it looks like. And then, right, and then there's all the other pieces. But so you've got one that fits there. You've got one that fits there. And then that just screws in. And that keeps everything in place when you're fishing those different lengths. Cool. Let's check this out. That's fancy. Oh, 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 there it is. That's a little plug that comes out of there. I'm just pulling on stuff. I could be messing stuff up. Man, look how thin this tip is. So this is actually, this is a slow, I believe it's a slow medium action rod. That's what it feels like to me. Right, so there's each section. You can see how it comes together like that. Beautiful rod. Looks very well built. It's a very, very nice wound blank. See, so that's that length, right? So this is fully extended. So then I can fish it here, which loses that much, right? And then I can fish it here. There we go. Which loses like that much again. Whoa, you can't see it right now, but this thing has some action to it. I like it. All right, and then to put it away. That is pretty sweet. Put my plug back in. All right, this little protector here. That's really cool. There she is. This is what it, the uh, Tinkara Dragon Tail Mutant ZX380. It's got a lot of really cool names. It's got this dragon. I wish I would have got some stickers. Did I get any? Ah, no stickers. That would have been a cool logo to put on something. If you're watching Dragon Tail, throw some stickers in there for some people. So, from what I understand right now, that this is now publicly available. Um, so I was sent like an early copy because, uh, I invested like early on. And so, um, now that this has all been sent, sent out to all of us, uh, from what I understand that this is now available, uh, to the public. So, um, get on there, check it out. I believe it's like $150 and then this kit's like an extra 20 or 30. Uh, so it comes with some really cool stuff. I don't know if it comes with these flies, but... Just having these right here are gonna be cool. Uh, you know, because I don't have a reel on a Tenkara rod. So you gotta hang on to your line somewhere. And this lets me change out my tippets uh, relatively quickly, all depending on uh, what type of fish I'm fishing, fishing for. So here on the Kern River, I might be, uh, you know, trying to catch some trout up in the upper. And then on my way home, I might hit up the lower for some smallmouth bass, especially right now, because that seems to be the time of the year to go out and get them. So. All right, well, that's about all there is until I get out and fish this thing. Now I just gotta find some time. Like I said, I've been cleaning everything up. I've got some, uh, uh, you know, room for my projects. I got that Trail 90 I'm finishing up. Um, I've got a kegerator I'm building. Uh, well, shoot, what else? I built a school desk for my daughter. I've got a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, I will find some time out, uh, out of my schedule to go and try this thing out and we'll see what it's like landing a fish. Uh, we'll see what it compares to, uh, compared to one of my other, um, you know, fly rods. Uh, it felt a little bit different, but then again, I'm in a garage. I'm not, it's not under load or anything. So I'm really curious and anxious to get out there and try this out. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet and you want to see me, you want to be one of the first ones to see me try this thing out whenever I get out there, um, you know, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification too because uh, you never know when this thing is going to come out. I have so many videos that I need to release right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. So springy.
Yeah. Then if like anybody tries to, if anybody tries to take it from you, you just, wah, wah. What do you think, Vishnu? Is she gonna work? Think she is, huh? Huh? Vishnu approves. Go check it out. <laughs>